Hello everyone, today we are going to watch the recap of the film titled, Confession of a Brazilian Call Girl. The movie starts by showing a young girl, Raquel, who is at her college giving presentation in front of her class, after the class, she is approached by her classmate, who invites her to his home to prepare for a presentation for the next day class. When Raquel arrives at the man's house, he begins kissing her and then coerces her to cling to him. Later that night, the girl receives a message on social media from the same guy on her page, saying that a photo that was shot with a camera in his room, while they were preparing presentation for the class was uploaded. She was shocked to see the photo uploaded on the internet. In the next morning, when she enters her college, the entire college has already been aware of what happened, and Raquel unable to handle the stress, flees from her class while leaving a farewell letter. Then the girl leaves the foster family, and finds work as a call girl in an advertisement where girls are wanted for massage. Then shows Larison, the massage center's manager, who introduces Raquel to the other employees of the store. To be more specific, without even she getting out of her bed, the first client arrives at the brothel for her in the morning. A man named Halson arrives at the brothel shop, Larison reveals that she has a new young girl that he loves, then Raquel enters the room to find Halson waiting for her. He asks her a few questions, including how old are you, and when she responds that she is 19, the man tells Raquel not to worry before pushing the girl to the bed, he spends some romantic time with Raquel for the entire day. During the first week, Raquel let 30 males through herself, she made a nice income from it, and used it to purchase the items she needed. The next day in brothel, two men have arrived, they see completely turned Raquel walking towards them, both are become speechless, the girl approaches them and offers to call one of her co-workers for the second man, but he declines because he wants to spend time with her, after finishing with these two, Raquel invites another man, and it appears that he truly likes her. Following the session, the man vows to take Raquel from this place soon, and the girl agrees to wait for him. Then a uprising is currently breaking out among the females, one among them is Janine, who is dissatisfied that Raquel has completely enticed away all of the customers. However, she must raise her son. In the meantime, Raquel meets with another client, who turns out to be her half-brother Rodrigo. Rodrigo discovered the girl because he is concerned about his parents, who are suffering greatly because Raquel fled the house, after learning that his sister is a call girl. Rodrigo advises Raquel to avoid her parents at all costs, or she will not be received well. At night, the girl uses a pay phone to contact her foster parents, but when she hears her mother's voice, she is unable to speak a word. Meanwhile, opening her locker in the morning, Raquel finds that all of her savings have been lost, along with the necklace she stole from her foster mother. Suspecting Janine of this, who was upset over Raquel that she had taken every customer for herself. The girl threatens to call the police, until Larison shows up and claims that, Janine has never touched Raquel's money. Later Gabby's friend informs Raquel the girl who stole everything valuable from her lockers, then Raquel extracts acceptance from the thief by knocking her with the scissors, but she soon finds that the thief had used all the money and the necklace on drugs. In the morning, Raquel apologizes to Janine for thinking she had stolen her jewels, and ever since that, the two have become closer. Meanwhile, the courtesans rest in the nightclub, Raquel draws the attention of the VIP room occupants, while Raquel waits for her to use the restroom. Carol, one of the females of VIP room, invites Raquel to join her friends in the VIP lounge. When it is time to go home, Carol gives Raquel her business card and a bag of white powder for her haunting experience with her. Raquel is informed by Carol that one of her friends has expressed interest in her. Carol makes the promise that she would locate some Richie Rocket soon, who will cover all of the girls' courtesan room charges. Back in shop, when Larison shows up, she finds a bag of drugs. Larison believes it belongs to the solitary drug user among the night butterflies, but when Raquel acknowledges that the bag truly belongs to her, Larison kicked both the girl out of the facility, since she is against poison. After that, Carol helps her find a decent apartment in an upscale home. Raquel then meets with Gabby, who takes her belongings from the brothel, says that after Raquel departed, Larison went crazy since every customer demanded a young escort, so Raquel has the smart idea to develop a personal blog, which would make it easier for her former clients to discover her online. Going forward, Gabby joins Raquel as a companion, much like Carol. Owing to her blog, in which the girl talks about both her life and her clients. Now Raquel becomes the most well-known courtesan in Brazil. The success of the blog is also attributed to the fact that the young woman starts evaluating her customers, highlighting either their flaws or fame-enhancing qualities through rating system. When Raquel initially starts using drugs, her first client, Halson, 
unexpectedly sets her up on a date. Because the girl really likes him, Halson offers Raquel a costly jewelry in exchange for her leaving this line of work. Gabby contacts her at that time to inform her that a client has arrived for her, pushing the jewelry towards him. She tells him that she would rather get double the money than spend time with him. Halson is unhappy with the girl's decision to reject him by choosing the line of work. After that, during a celebration for Raquel's birthday, Carol announces that the girl's services are entirely free for all of the attendees today. At a meeting with Gabby in the morning, her pals argue over the success of her blog. Raquel considers herself a celebrity and is certain that every man in the cafe knows about her and wants her. Gabby pushes Raquel away because of her behavior, and they are no longer friends now. As a result, Raquel is left with the same drug addict Carol, when Gabby breaks up with the girl. Due to Raquel's personal magazine being named Brazil's best of the year, the young woman is asked to an interview where she arrives stunningly. Raquel then markets her services on television and hikes her costs, since she believes that she is irreplaceable. After some time, the man who had promised to come back for Raquel, while she was working for Larison, approaches the woman. She does not recognize him at all, and offers to get right to business without wasting any time on small talk. Disappointed by the girl, the man departs from there and spends a considerable amount of money on drugs and alcohol. Soon Raquel ends up completely without clients, that is why she has to go to the regular meetings, even Carol, who Raquel always considered her as close friend, turned away from her, meanwhile Raquel's affairs are very bad, she is forced to pass dozens of men through herself at night, in order to somehow make ends meet. As a result, the girl loses consciousness from over make out, then waking up in the ward, Raquel discovers Halson sitting next to her bed, then taking the girl from hospital. A man confesses that he loves her and is trying with all his might to change Raquel's life, he explains that he is everything and she has nothing to even worry about, she can easily finish school and go to study further for wherever she wants, Raquel asks to stop the car, the girl says that Halson is very nice man, but she ran away from her family to be independent, the film ends with the voiceover note explaining the thoughts of Raquel, the girl wants to get married and wants to have children, but for that she needs to save money, so she has to continue to be an escort, and the movie ends, thanks for watching the video.